1,100 cases of animal cruelty cases in one year. That's a dire situation in Thomas County. Good evening, I'm Mika Highsmith. Thanks for watching WTXL ABC 27 News at 11. Animal advocates, they are now trying to stop the problem. WTXL's Ty Wilson joins us now live in the newsroom. And Ty, I saw some of the pictures. They are heartbreaking and gruesome, too upsetting to show on TV. Yeah, Mika, we looked at those pictures together. Terrible cases of cruelty. In fact, just describing these cases may be disturbing to you. Two baby pigs killed and stuffed in a mailbox. One dog shot and killed another dog with a six inch cut on its throat. Some of the images you will see could be hard to watch. Pat Thomas is an animal lover. She also runs the Thomas County Animal Control. She says the recent cases of animal abuse and cruelty really shakes her up. They have to, to take it and they suffer and that's what breaks my heart is knowing that these animals are suffering the way that they are and nobody's there to help them. In 2012, investigators from the Thomas County Animal Control responded to 3,000 calls. Around 1,100 of them involved animal cruelty or abuse. I think the increase is due to the economy and a lot of people out of work and uh, can't afford to take care of the animals. And uh, it's just that they're depressed, they're upset, and they take it out on animals. Smith says many shelters are overcrowded because people are giving up their animals. She plans on holding town hall style meetings to educate people in hopes of bringing the number of animal cruelty cases down. We'll never stop it, but maybe we'll put a dent in it. And the more people we get involved, maybe the more animals we can help. Pat Smith says right now at their Humane Society, they have 75 animals they are caring for because they were either neglected or abused. Live in the newsroom, I'm Ty Wilson, ABC 27, dedicated to you.